Now we are going to have the opening speech of Paulo Protasio. Paulo Protasio is a consultant. Um, he, is he has graduation in law with uh, extension in marketing and publicity. He is the founder and is the chairman of the Commercial Chamber of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, also, he chairs the Council Codemec, and he is a member of the Superior Council of Phone Sex. The, yes, you are right, Phone Sex. He was the chairman of a long list of important institutions in Rio de Janeiro, uh, like three terms in the Commercial Chamber in Rio de Janeiro, and he has uh, chaired uh, the de sustainable development of of the um, of many institutions. And in, in the Rio Plus Thirty celebrations, he is um, advocating this um, movement. I hope this uh, introduction will, will um, help uh, share the experience because uh, I would like to start by expressing our gratitude to everybody here in this panel, but also to Denmark and the proposal that we uh, sought to engage together that uh, not uh, to turn all the worlds in a single world where the architecture of the 21st century, century is implemented and uh, more precisely. Um, the entire world is going through a very special moment and this special moment has become the right moment for architecture to move forward and my uh, daring move by sharing this first slide is to turn this initiative into a plural one that is if we think that an opportunity is being given to all of us as a capital it cannot be in isolation. I don't know whether you can see my slide, the one I'm sharing now. We are going to turn this into a plural event, into a plural initiative. And I'd like to share this message in a way that uh, this uh, perspective, this uh, interaction is already on the move because we have already been a bit too late in starting this big network. And Copenhagen, Rio, Gutu just showed us yesterday in his panels, experience that is deriving from the local initiative, which has been able to show that creating a platform for objective action will turn the 27th uh, Congress um, to liaise immediately right away with the 38th Congress so that this um, period of uh, years can be taken to a process rather than uh, as an event as an event and this is a radical change but it is radical on purpose because it has provided us with uh, time in order to um, look great the first one, and Gutu made specific reference yesterday in, he, in the questions he posed, also by the uh, staff from Girl, who are thinking, uh, are helping us to think, and also by this uh, Rio Comprido initiative, which is to know that great things can also be started by small initiatives, and those small initiatives show the possibility or the capacity for us to make this connection with the 28th Congress to be implemented as of now. The prevailing idea is that together we're going, we're not going to let anybody lag behind. And with this vision and with the uh, Danish uh, tool that Gail presented yesterday, the one in Bogota, is going to have direct impact on this objective action. Let's move on to the next slide, please. Now, so this is the first uh, exercise. What 
would a world capital of architecture, what, it, what would it be in reality? If you ask a question to every single one in this is a worldwide event, each one will have his or her own interpretation. Everybody will have his or her definition, but this definition will have to be built. I think there's a great potential there to become something that when the strategies and objectives maturate through action, these encounters will eventually enhance the potential of our architecture uh, worldwide. And that will help us uh, rethink our actions. We are starting from Rio. Last year, the decision we made and this uh, journey with uh, Sergio Magalhães to journey to Paris, uh, addressing a group of cities in Europe. And a major highlight there um, was focusing on the neighborhoods, meaning the matrix has to be progressive construction that is relatively important in the entire process because each one has uh, its own personalities. We will elaborate on this thought. What I mean is, because of that, we have increased uh, the, the, the activity, which is called Bilbao.rio, my neighborhood.rio. And during this week, we will continue to elaborate on the contributions we can give to this constructive uh, action uh, to make, to turn this uh, neighborhood of Copacabana, known worldwide, uh, to be a, a role model. We have secured uh, Danish support, and uh, we will be participating together towards making decisions that we will uh, let you know in a while. This is one way to, cons to think, meaning for quite some time, for quite some time we had the meeting of the UIA board meeting. I think it was a couple of years ago. I sat around the table with the Greek representative and he said he was the more important participation. And why not? Because use of architecture has always been exemplary has always been representative in such a way that uh, his life, his city, had a position worldwide. So it was not something for themselves, but it was something for the entire world. We now come to the first great moment. Not only are we a capital, we are actually two world architecture capitals. And missing this opportunity in the current moment the world is going through, which is totally differentiated, starting from this panel we were talking before, saying uh, at the, in the experience of a cow's president, yesterday he was in a meeting with five countries at the same time in a context where we will have a great opportunity to give continuity to what we will be referring to as this experience that in, comprises architecture, construction, housing, infrastructure, mobility, culture, urban planning, metropolitan regime that is becoming evident across the world, and also the challenge of managing cities with what may be the best thing from our starting point, which would be to look at the theme uh, axis, which have been exhaustively studied in terms of developing theses and preparing papers and doing studies. There is a um, major need to revisit the content uh, to, of the process that was started by the Congress, looking at diversity, looking at uh, structure, the changing emergencies that might happen, our weaknesses, our inequalities, 
the trans transient nature of this process and what it might even bring to the country. So this has actually led to many actions. It brought about a much more profound action than those who conceived it at the UN uh, could never conceive. I, I cannot control the slides, can I? So there is a relationship there. Looking for this identity, that is, there is no comparison that we can think that is far from the side of inequality. What there is, is equality. And more than that, from this perspective, the relationship of um, electing priorities has already been made. That is, Copenhagen and Rio, the evidence is on the coastal front, meaning we are a city that can actually implement a, an activity of great coher coherence and consistency by putting it into the perspective of what we are going to become. The two presentations, the two participations that will ensue are address the success of the activity of this uh, action which uh, involves changing the port structure in Copenhagen and the perspective that we can have in terms of internalizing technologies with a new project. A project that addresses the same perimeter which is attributed to the Sedurp, uh, a picture of the central part of the downtown, meaning where the Central do Brasil is, locally, is located today, one way in which to translate that in a relation where the existing mobility will gain in a very special manner. And that might even lead to a broader process. Uh, Murdoch will touch on that topic, where in reality, port and airport will also have to have, to have they'll also have this encounter nature. We're going to have uh, the DACA's uh, president. I actually met him during this week, and I asked him whether he already had breakfast with the president of the airport, and he said no. So in this more ambitious um, uh, framework, we are going to have this breakfast together because the relationship of infrastructures and this uh, activity may develop relationships that will be of interest of those two urban areas of the world in order to turn this into a more consequent um, action. So let's wait for Soren's presentation, not himself, but also Murdoch's uh, presentation is going to be made by the company of the port, which is just a sun hitter, which is worth visiting. So this delay was beneficial to us. But uh, this benefit has to be retributed because pioneering cities are the ones that have to explore this theme. We cannot at all um, go without considering that challenges are big and that synergic action we have is going to come into reality. Except that we are going to meet the third one this week the, th the third host to this meeting. It's yet another member of this new family, which has been called World Capital, to make this, to turn architecture that keeps track of constructing buildings, architecture that will also involve incorporating knowledge and communication, the digital world that has grown and, and came up upon our cities like a blanket. So that might be a most important dimension. The entire world uh, uh, driving towards uh, 5.0. So this might be the challenge posed to us. 
not that only Rio and Copenhagen will participate. Actually, everyone can participate. We have to look at the commonalities we have from the point of view of uh, design. Uh, the city's master plan can start to move as if it were reflection of what is being developed in Copenhagen. So this relationship can be so constructive as our imagination can conceive. And more than that, the more collaboration we have, the better it will be. So there are lies, great importance, which is all elements will factor in this concern about this theme, about this uh, framework of interest, and can turn it, it can turn it into something richer and richer. There is no difference. There's no change when it comes to uh, implementation where there is any border. There's no territory uh, beyond which you cannot go. So what you have is really the possibility to turn these new actions, to turn this new outlook, this new urban design to come into existence in a way that oh, it will really make a difference. And I would say, furthermore, that we are not to forget what we have experienced in the past two years. Meaning, the world was put to a corner and an action where the urban part of it has been tested to its limits, where all processes of the relation with the architectural heritage, investment in public space and natural landscape, particularly in cities, uh, coastal cities like ours, mobility, and it all has been put to a test. Urban life has gained, again, urban life has gained diversity in terms of use and services, but also vitality and quality of life and this constant search for a style of uh, food. Yesterday, we had this fantastic presentation from uh, Bogota in terms of the um, foodscapes, which is a very interesting experience that has to be brought to Rio de Janeiro. So this culture will actually pervade what is indeed the relationship with urban design and this effervescent uh, urban life. Because um, assets, heritage, space, all of that correlate in order to create this diversity in uses, urban vitality. Even the discussion of our master plan, which has been implemented with this kind of dimension and where this lifestyle has also to be considered, where our action can be observed in a more objective manner, both in culture and education, as well as sports and leisure in a differentiated manner. So this identity, this identity, uh, yet another slide, please. Okay, this identity offers this proposal, which puts us in a very nice situation, which, which is extremely rich between, between these two world capitals. First, the values. I think this is a picture we are not to lose track of. It has to be enhanced. We have to keep looking for this action. The aspect of culture is not exhaustive. It actually adds, in terms of uh, richness, Social, sociability is a wrong word. It, it would be a, an objective uh, and growing action that re requires our aspirations, our exchanges, and our conflicts. So this identity that I would say is uh, remarkable justifies the plan for the neighborhoods. And we're, we're not talking about uh, neighborhoods in isolation. We're also talking about uh, neighborhoods such as in Washington, D.C., where there's this major difference where the political city is totally detached 
from the non-political non city. Furthermore, concerning the demand and interest of the metropolitan region of Copenhagen, where this uh, framework is also living and intense, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, wherever neighborhoods will have their own relationship and very consequent actions will come into being in a way to change our lives in a very um, exponential manner. These cities of ours, they do have some reference, both in terms of quality, and I do not intend to to make this uh, into a discourse. We're talking about everyday actions in the realm of uh, technology and in the realm of uh, implementations by city managers, but also architects, those who are part of urban development, those who are looking for permanent solutions. And for us, the, the port, all of those elements are there all the way from walking on foot as well as on bicycle buses subway the vlt or the uh, uh, light rail transport as this idea from central de brazil with this idea to be implemented by what is being to be presented by soren afterwards and this perspective this perspective again it can actually lead to an analysis of the parameters for each city and to find the meaning of the capital. That is when we will be able to contribute enormously. And why are we going to do that? What is the purpose? What is the future we're looking for? We need to get back to dreaming. Actually, Rio Janeiro has all of the conditions to do it, and it can provide to Copenhagen, an extraordinary stage, as well as to all of the UIA partners and to all of the UIA cities during 2022, in our intense preparation to 2023, when the world will be able to see the dimension that cities need from a totally different perspective that have been resolved by the metropolitan areas. Furthermore, and this framework, in order to be able to start consequent action, we will, we will have Rio uh, be the content, uh, the role model for that. We have always been a capital. We have never ceased from being a capital. That's our DNA. And more than that, uh, we started committing to that by being the capital of an empire. Uh, as this empire was there in Europe before, so centralization, concern, administration of beauty, which is something that we now look from a distance. Our Rio de Janeiro, which is 450 years old. Now, this is a Rio de Janeiro that can also be shown as the Rio of Future Action. So, more than that, in 2022, we will be the ones that we will be able, with another Nordic uh, city, Stockholm in this case, uh, to discuss what this framework of uh, relationship with the environment, how will we be able to solve that within this perspective? How will the uh, 30 years of uh, Rio 92 uh, help to this purpose? How will uh, Stockholm plus 50 will help this purpose? And how will Copenhagen and Rio will help other cities to develop the same kind of dimensions? Furthermore, this was all started from the grandiose, uh, grandiose idea we had at the beginning with uh, Sergio and, uh, and others that we were going to do a world forum of the cities. This commitment has taken us to this Bait. More than that, coastal cities are the ones, are other main drivers too. More than that, the, the Copenhagen experience can be also a major watershed. Copenhagen actually 
used to face 30 years ago to provide the same dimensions as uh, Rio 92, the city was, was facing 17.5% of unemployment in the city. That was great, huge um, migration rates. Furthermore, there were significant loss of companies, of businesses. Tax capacity was declining and budget deficit uh, was increasing up to nearly $750 million. And that city has turned into one of the richest cities in Europe. And potentially one of the safest cities. So I can say that there's this magnificent relationship and this encounter of us, and it's very good to think along those lines. What is the benefit uh, for, from the collaboration between the two cities? I'm not going to elaborate on that. You can revisit this action. And you can revisit that with your own purposes, with your own actions, with your own reactions, with your own objectives, with your own intelligence, and with your own creative activity. So this view, this vision is uh, priceless. It's extraordinarily rich and can very potentially be implemented. What I'd like to propose, actually, to all of you is that we should not be restricted to thinking about the Congress, but rather to think about the process, meaning every three years, the world changes. Now, at a speed that's much greater than it used to change in the past, and this acceleration was also triggered by pains which were increased by this pandemic. Communication amongst ourselves more than ever, communication amongst countries, has lost their borders. We in increased constant communication among us. We were all aware of everything that was going on in every place. And this is the vision that's crucial for us to have development, looking at this ever-growing dream at the level of the encounter in this, around this 28th Congress. This action may have, may help us think very objectively to perhaps a trinomial, many other actions may be created in order to increase this language, but this uh, trinomial is the one of, is one of transformation, restoring good practices of the past that have raised us to the level of a wonderful city as Rio de Janeiro has been, it still is, and will continue to be. Adapting the practical, the successful tools and practices to strengthen the neighborhoods of Rio and of all other cities. The action of extinguishing some and starting other development standards. Quality of life is now the main driver of this um, outlook on the future. And finally, building an agenda. This idea today is already on the table. 21 is no longer the 21 as a process. It, 21 is 23, going further, going further beyond for Rio de Janeiro and the timeline which ha we have agreed upon in an agenda that uh, involves the four planes of our architecture in the country. We have encouraged another accomplishment uh, which was developed around the implementation of this Congress as of we had the idea of having the, uh, the calendar of Rio de Janeiro from January to January to turn this convention, to turn this Congress, but also extending to the others. We have already accomplished uh, in 24, the meeting of the G20. Brazil's presidency or uh, of the G20 in 2024 brings to us 
this vocation and this possibility to construct, to build a moment when Brazil will be able to show with all of its uh, qualifications, with all of it, uh, uh, with all of its interests, shapes and planning. 23 as a point of arrival in a stage when the world uh, architecture cities are contributors. And the next moment, when the moment of this action was christened and impacted by the relations, relationship of Rio plus 30 and the 200 years of independence. And finally, our action, which is to take to the world in 2024, to take what can be conceived a country of a recognized action that is closer to what we really are. And we have not yet lost and there still can be recovered. And I'm not going to be talking to you about the action and what can prevail today. All of you, all of us across the world are now used to relate with our cell phones. That suffices. Suffice to have these expressions to be uh, more exciting. And the pilot plan for Copacabana, that's the first prevalence. What are we looking for in Copacabana? What are we going to be in Copacabana? What are we in Copacabana now? This relations uh, of the differences, I think it's important, but I will not be able to talk about it now. You have many other many other instances in which you will be able to delve into that during the Congress. And the next slide uh, refers to the same language, the same understanding of the facts. That has to be elaborated. I'm not going to recommend that to architects whose minds are already focused on that. So I'm not going to, to uh, upset you. I'm not going to tell that to business people or to entrepreneurs or to the academics even. Everybody is aware of that. Everybody knows that this uh, knowledge transfer, not knowledge transference, has to be made by means of structures that will be more and more appropriate, that will be uh, enhanced. We have to look at the universities back on stage. We cannot lose fundamentals such as the ones that are already in existence between Rio and Sao Paulo. All potential knowledge has already been built in its final form. I am not going to, to share any thoughts on the short, medium, and long term, because that is something that's going to be established in our daily practices. But I'd like to say to you that we know where we're going and how we're going, but we need to share this knowledge. We, we need to share that knowledge amongst ourselves. So this is our main provocation, to really facilitate the process, to gather different uh, players, agendas, and cities. That is up to institutions such as the ICAO, such as the IAB, such as commercial associations, such as the uh, groups of uh, industries or uh, educational institutions, everyone together in a single process moving forward. And here I stop because we are in this perspective now, looking at translating this relationship between Copenhagen and Rio in an absolutely prioritary, priority uh, activity for the city of Rio de Janeiro, for the metropolitan area, in face of the best alternatives and purposes that one of our partners came to do in Rio de Janeiro, which was James Lerner. So I'd like to make, to pay homage to him because it is high time he revisited the master plan for the port area. This is high time for us to see its relationship with the different airports. It is high time we see the integration of those 22 municipalities surrounding our areas. Looking at that uh, from a definitive uh, ang angle. And therefore, we will be able to make that a great 
anchor to be shared in 2022. Thank you very much. We are now going to continue with our agenda. And at the end, when we have our debate, we will be able we will be able to resort to some of those uh, to most of those points that you have so relevantly shared relationship of the processes is something i i consider to be crucial an underlying element of everything that was said thank you very much protasio for your words